Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's nice that I have to talk about the product, but I said, but you have to be a user before you become a pusher. Actually, you are already the product of the product. Okay? So, uh, where's my slide? <laughs> A lot of you will be wondering why a doctor like me would be endorsing a or talking about a product that is very natural. Kasi kami mga doctors, we have been trained to become drug pushers. I cannot imagine a doctor practicing if he is not pushing and pushing and pushing drugs. During my time, if you prescribe a alternative preparation, a food supplement, the whole medical community will bury you. They'll bury you deep. Lahat ng mga bad words sabihin na nila. But now, apparently there's a change. Just like mercury. Sa mercury noon, lahat ng gamot, all the, med all the medicines are medicines. Chemicals, drugs, poisons, designed to kill. Now, yeah, designed to kill. Do you know that acetone kills? Merthiolate kills? It's a poison. A lot of drugs kill. Aspirin kills. I have been in practice so long, used so many drugs that have been poured out in the market because it killed so many people. Sad, no? Very sad. And we doctors, we always say, oh, is it scientifically validated? Patay. When you talk about Kayani, you talk about scientific validation. It is scientifically validated. You talk about nitric oxide, that is scientifically validated. So, food supplement, behaving, or now, as a drug, because it's really a drug, will not kill. Wala siya negative side effects. May frontal effect. Walang side effect. Frontal lang ang effect. Can we go back? Can we go back? Okay. Let's go to the realities of life. Uh, I am a doctor who has been very active in conventional medicine, very, very active. I, we, were, we were mostly fanatics, pushing drugs left and right, because that is how we grew up in medical school. Always, for every complaint you have, we always have a drug. Unfortunately, the results vary. And there are now more side effects because of polydrug use or polypharmacy. And it is horrendous. If you have a conscience in your practice, you will tend to go to natural practices or natural medicine. And that is where I am drifting. Why? Because it's more effective with the least side effects. Now let's look at that. Can you imagine that only 20 to 35% of what we do in hospitals has been scientifically validated. And if you do anything in medical, in the hospital, they'll say, mm, has that been scientifically validated? What about the 70%? Has it been scientifically validated? Voila. Yet we are doing it every day. And now in hospital practice, we have a big, bigger problem. We have group practice. You know what group practice is? Diba ma'am, if you are more than 40 years old, you're complaining of painful shoulder, what happens if you go to the emergency room? You will be seen first by a family med or a general practitioner. The general practitioner seeing you before he's going to write any test will think of sino yung barkada niya na titingin sa'yo. Sabi niya, ortho. Ortho siguro kasi painful shoulder. So, 
the Barcada Ortho will go there, do all the tests, because doctors do not diagnose without tests in hospitals. They will give you a battery of tests, from blood tests to all kinds of tests. And the results come in, it's normal. So he will say, ah, hindi sa akin yan. Sa barkada natin yang rheumatologist. Kasi joint eh, rheuma. The doctor also does all the tests and nothing. So he will say, baka nerve na siguro yan. May barkada, sa atong neuro natin na barkada. Di tatlo na sila, ilan ang doktor? Apat. Apat. Tinignan yung chart. Ilan taon na yung pasyente? 40 years and above. Disgracia ka, kailangan mo cardiac clearance. <laughs> Kasi 40 and above, kailangan cardiac clearance. O, ilan ang doktor niya ngayon? Wala pa siya sa ward. <laughs> At tingin ngayon ng <laughs> cardio, may kaunting disturbance in rhythm. Sasabihin niya, yak may problema siguro to sa mata. <laughs> Kasi matanda na. Kung may problema, baka may ikaw sa mata. So tawag sila doon sa barkada, opta. Ah, opta, silip doon. Pag silip. Kasi 40 and above, chaotic na yung blood vessel sa retina at may kaunting hemorrhage. Diabetic siguro to. Eh, refer mo doon sa endo, crinologist. Hanggang, katod ng kwento, hanggang pathologist. Kawawa naman pasyente. Kawawa naman ang pasyente. The biggest problem now is, there are two kinds of doctors, and it is sad. Because there are doctors who swear by the Hippocratic Oath. And a lot of them are hypocrites. <laughs> Now, why am I saying this? I'm a licensed doctor too. We're supposed to practice ethics. But when you analyze things, mas maraming namatay doon sa hospital. Now, naintindihan nyo? And before they die, they have severe pain. The most severe pain of all is not inside the body. It's outside. Now, bursitis. Inverted pocket disease. Kawawa naman pasyente. Wala nang pangburol, wala nang pang... I mean, we, we laugh, we laugh, but this is the reality. So now, let us review. Review. Okay? Allah. The dogmas of today are the fallacies of tomorrow. We have done so many practices in medical practice which make us look stupid. <laughs> it's very funny. Before, I said before, when you have a prostate mass, kung may bukol ka doon sa prostate, they will do biopsy. Diba? Because the doctor wants to find out for academic purposes whether you have cancer or not. Okay. They, through so many meta-analyses, they found out that if you do not touch the prostate, even if it is the most malignant of cancers, only 3 or 6 percent of those who have that bokol will die because of cancer. But if you biopsy it, 68 percent will die because of the biopsy. Oh, mga lalaki na may bukol. Remember, there's a rule. As you grow older, everything shrinks except the prostate. Naintindihan niyo? <laughs> Ang lumalaki, isa lang, prostate. Everything shrinks except the prostate. So if your prostate has a bukol, what do you do? Pabiopsy niyo, hindi? No. Oh. Now, that is common practice. But still, in the Philippines, they still do biopsy. Willful biopsy. <laughs> 68% mortality. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> the oath, simple. At first, do no harm. But at second, third, and fourth, do all the harm. Okay? <laughs> so, let's go back to my idol. My idol in practice, always Barbara Starfield. Why? Because she died when she was swimming. 
When she was swimming, she died because of bleeding in the brain. They called it cerebral amyloid, what you call that? But caused by, caused by aspirin and Plavix. No, but that's good medicine. It's good medicine. Yeah, it's good medicine. If you are 75 to 85 years old, 8 out of 100 will die because of the medicine. Diba, it's supposed to prevent death. But it kills only 8% of those who will take. Now, if you are 85 and above, 12% or 12 in 100 will die because of the medicine. I cannot understand it. Can you? So, if you will see there, her death showed the deficiencies in medical practice. Now, why? Why do we have to be concerned? The Philippines, what we do is a photocopy of what America does. Medical care natin, nagkaloko-loko. Because of 18 developed countries, for timely and effective medical care, America is number 18. And we are copying that. <laughs> Kawawa tayo. Now, ironically, she's the one who reported all of this and said and told us how to rectify this problem. And she became part of the problem. Kawawa naman siya. Why? Because in the year 2000, published in the JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, can you read it aloud? Now, a big analysis was done about reporting for deaths and uh, side effects of medicine in hospital, and only one of 20 incidents are reported. Only one out of 20 are reported. So you multiply that by 20, it means that kami, practition, medical practitioners, were the number one cause of death. No, it's no laughing matter. And that is why I'm here to... One regret I have is, why did it take me too long in my practice to find out what the real problem is? Diba, I had a slide before where the mother of Erap, Doña Mary, still remember that? She died at 103. She died 11 months after her doctor died. Her doctor, Dr. Hoxon, died at 55 years old. So what's the difference between 55 and 103? Do you think the doctors are the custodians of good health? Do they know that they die earlier than you? So, I'm 67 now. It is a funny thing because two years ago, Two years ago, more than two years na tayo is walking from Mega Plaza here, kasi traffic, traffic eh. You cannot park, nakasulat doon, full parking ang Mega Mall. So I had to walk very fast, mainit. Normally, pagdating dyan St. Francis, low bat na ako. <laughs> but when you're on Kayani, pagpasa ko, diretsya ako dyan, pinagayos no? sa... <laughs> Anyway, so Hippocrates, of course, COS, uh, he was more inclined about things that are natural, not surgeries or medicine. And even warmth, sympathy, and understanding is much better than what we usually do in medical practice. By the way, nawala na yon yung care, special care by nurses on, on patients when you are in the hospital. When I was still young, yung nurse was somebody who really cared for you. Everything, touch you, everything like that. Now, they're becoming more, very, they're like robots. Minsan, isip mo, lang ang nurse. So what did Hippocrates say? 
Can you read? So the doctors now are endorsing food, whether it's apple or not. And this is what Hippocrates said. Nature and what, uh, what is the product we're talking about? Kaya ni. Kaya talaga. <laughs> so can you read this aloud? So we're talking about Einstein lang yun eh. Si Edison kaya. Ano kaya sinabi niya Edison? Can you read that loud? Ano yung nutrition? Kaya ni <laughs> But we're talking about people with brains. People who change the outcome of our future. And of course, the father of modern medicine, ito yung gusto kong ma-memorize nyo, he is one of the founding fathers of Johns Hopkins Hospital, Canadian doctor who worked in America, eventually knighted and worked in England. All of these, Osler's node, Osler's triad, uh, triad, Osler's syndrome, sa kanya yan. He was the one who made a very big library, yung medical library there in America. Now, Let's recite what he said. The father of modern medicine. What what naman? But because of Rockefeller and Carnegie, Carnegie Nakaloko-loko na yung buhay niyo. <laughs> drugs, 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 and drugs. That's nice. And Oliver Wendell Holmes, the father of a very famous jurist, the originator of the word anesthesia. What did he say? Can you read it now? Uh, what are these guys talking about? Hindi ko maintindihan. They're talking nothing but Kayani actually. <laughs> From Einstein to Edison to the father of Western medicine and the father of modern medicine. What are they talking about? They're talking about Kayani. And you want me to discuss about Kayani? Wag na. Wag na because you have to experience it. You do not try to look at the science, you try it. Yesterday I had a very nice experience. Lawyer, 68 years old, cannot stand. When he would stand, he would wobble to the side. And I was already smiling in the back of my head. Kasi sabi ko, if I brutalize this patient, because I brutalize patients by the way, there must be a society against cruelty to patients. What? There's none. Mm. And what I noticed is, <clears throat> if I manipulate him, he's going to improve. But he's going to improve better if I just give him Kayani. Yeah. So, binigyan ko Kayani. <laughs> now, that guy is close to somebody who's going to become president soon. Yeah. Um, but I think he's also on Kayani. <laughs> so, wala na. Puro na lang Kayani sila. <laughs> So this is what we were looking for. That is Kayani. And where we ended before, we're talking about superfoods. Remember, as you grow older, when you are past 50, Hanggang noodles na lang kayo at oatmeal. Di ba? Lugaw, noodles at oatmeal. Ano bang nutrition doon? 
Yung noodles, kargado ng sodium. Nagmamanas na yung paa mo. And then, it also has MSG. Kasi no, dyan yung kaya yun. That's why maraming cancer after 40. Before, it was 4 is to 1. Ngayon, 3 is to 1. Baka magiging 1 is to 1. But if you're taking this, even in your old age, kasi madali lang i-take, and uh, you already have your antioxidant support. The favorite of a lot of boys is actually this one. Uh, you cannot do Kama Sutra without Ashwagandha. So, the, for the practitioners of Kama Sutra, yung ginagawa sa Kama, ang Sutra, di ba? You, be, you, better, you better take this product. I think Monondo is tripling his dose. <laughs> So all of this you get in just one sachet, very small packet, but you get already good nutrition. So for elderly, those who have dental problems, um, those who are hypertensive, those who have all kinds of diseases, what did all the, those bright people say? Good nutrition. Well, that is nutrition. It makes you also very alkaline. The more alkaline you are, wala cancer. But if you become more acid, more stress, that's why mga lalaki, the worst stress is always a mistress. So, iwas kayo sa... Mundo! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> so, when you talk about alkaline chart, everything there is what we are talking about. Don't talk about the acid things because that's the one giving you degenerative diseases. Okay? It looks like something familiar to me in anatomy. <laughs> I, I refuse to comment. It might incriminate me. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. <laughs> but the very lowly Ashwete, how do you pronounce that? The very lowly Ashwete is the source of the strongest vitamin E. And you think the one in what they call this is the best? Para sa akin, Pilipinas, they are the best. And you, you augment it by taking more the product. Anyway, forget in the market. Those are from fish pen. The may controversy dyan kasi yung man, man cow, mad cow disease. <laughs> still remember mad cow disease? Nung namatay yung mga mad cows, yung meat nila ginawang pellet, pinakain doon sa salmon, farmed salmon. So what happened? It caused a big controversy in Europe and even America. I have been using omega-3s for a very long time time, mainly because of its primary effect on cholesterol. It brings down cholesterol, it improves mental function, meaning to say you can remember things better. And the arthritis. But I use it now for cancer. By the way, sunset, I take three capsules three times a day. Sasabihin nyo, sobra naman yun, dok. Kasi, I'm the one who treats sports stage cancer. And makita ko lang yung mukha nila, parang nakahawa na ako. No, if you see them, di ba? Every day, if you see them, have you seen a psychiatrist or talk to a psychiatrist na matino? Meron ba? Wala! Because of the simple process of diffusion, from greater concentration to lesser concentration. Diba? That is why when you talk to them. Anyway, 
When I see cancer patients, I, since I see fourth stage, yung mamamatay na in one week, yung iba nga in just few days. But I have been so lucky because I'm the one who does stem cell uh, therapy. I do also PRP, platelet-rich plasma. And this has prolonged their lives. As a matter of fact, my first patient nearly four years ago was supposed to be dead in less than one week. Just died recently. I feel sad. But this guy went ziplining. Hindi to makatayo. Butot balat na lang. Hindi na makatayo. But he was able to do zip lining in Tagaytay, which I have not yet done. <laughs> Nag-blister yung perineum kasi sumakay ng kabayo doon sa volcano. May taal volcano. May horse ba doon? Anyway, nag-blister. Because my injection site, he had uh, cancer of the rectum. So my injection site was there. So sabi ko, bakit ang laki ng blister dito? Eh, sumakay pa ng kabayo. So for... All that time, he has enjoyed it with his family. Siya pa ang nagpalit ng bubong ng bahay niya. But I will share with you something that has prolonged also the life of somebody. I'm, I'm going to mention his name because perhaps it will also help a lot of patients. You have heard of Congressman Senyeres, Roy? Okay? Uh, not February. The other February, I was called to Global, St. Luke's Global, to see a patient who has skin and bones, weighing only 111 pounds. And my sister said right away when I came in, na ipa stem cell yung pasyente. With all the tubes going in, tubes going out. I told my sister right away, no way. Baka mamatay ang pasyente na yan during anesthesia. And she said, that's the first cousin of my husband. And that is his best friend. Sabi ko, so anong gagawin ko niya? Sabi niya, gawin mo na, mamatay din yan eh. Gawin mo naman, kung hindi mo gawin, mamatay. Kung gawin mo, mamatay. Wala, there's nothing. So, when that patient was scheduled for stem cell, I was in Cagayan de Oro doing another stem cell. But I had to come back to do that stem cell. But yung doctor ko, yung partner ko, si Dr. Nonato, nagka problema. Nung nakita niya yung pasyente, natakot siya. Sabi niya, tawag siya partner. Baka ito yung first mortality natin. Ang dami na natin yung ginawa. Ito yung first mortality. But sigurado ako yung anis, anis natin, hindi papayag. Sabi ko, ha? Ah, sige, yun tayo mo na anesthesiologist. Pagdating anesthesiologist, makita yung pasyente. Gusto nang umuwi. <laughs> Mabuti, naabutan ko pa. But I told the anesthesiologist, if you don't do it, I'll be the one to anesthetize the patient. So ginawa namin, that's more than nearly two years ago. So, in three months, 111 pounds became 152. He was running five kilometers a day. He was very healthy. But I wanted him to do lifestyle change because when you do stem cell, you have to do lifestyle change. You don't have to look at very beautiful girls because that will make you very acidic. <laughs> A diet is most important that you shun away from the inflammatory foods because that is carcinogenic. But uh, I think he was enjoying himself. Now he wanted to run for president. I told him, huwag, kasi stress. Kapag stress, wabalik na naman yung problema mo. So, bumalik nga yung problema niya. But we stemmed him again and he improved. But during that time, there was something wrong with his kidney, and they had to dialyze him. And it was during dialysis and after the series of dialysis where the problem happened. But this is a nice success story because he was on Kayani. 
I could uh, still remember him drinking his yung sachet doon sa, sa clinic while, while uh, waiting for his therapy. And the added year, more than a year to his life, para sa akin, primarily because of nutrition, good nutrition. Because the wife was giving him so many uh, things which were natural. Still remember this, the benefits of tocotrino. <clears throat> what I'm, what I always tell my patients is, if you take ordinary tocopherol, alpha tocopherol, or even those which are natural products, the bigger problem is they have only three or four positive benefits. But if you take tocotrienol, then for diabetics, it's very good because diabetics have high cholesterol and it improves brain function at the same time, anti-cancer activity, and for osteoporosis. Okay? Now, my job is mainly pain. That is why most of my patients they are always on Kayani. Why? Because the main problem of patients with chronic pain is inflammation. Hindi ba kapag pindutin nyo, makirot? Medical practice has yet to unravel the mystery of chronic pain. Even migraine. How many have migraine? Can you raise your hand? Not migraine pala, your grain. Huh? Okay. When you're on migraine in my clinic, I instantly remove migraines in one second. I stop it in one second. If I do 15 second manipulation, then the next migraine is two to 10 years later. The problem is you're going to miss your migraine. Kasi yung migraine or sanay na sa migraine. Alam na niya na magma-migraine siya. Magregla, mag-migraine, bright lights, migraine, loud noise, migraine, chocolate, migraine, peanuts, migraine, puro migraine. The problem is when we treat them, they eat peanuts. Hala, bakit wala migraine? Bright lights, hala, wala migraine. So nami-miss nila ang migraine. <laughs> Kasi after 20 years, nasanay na sila na ngayon talaga ang cycle. By the way, the reason why I can stop migraine in one second is migraine is not a headache. All the scientists, the doctors, were looking for migraine inside the head. It's not inside the head. It's outside the head. It's in the neck. It's a neck ache. That is why, pardon the business, di ba drug pusher kami? Drugs. You know why? It's like this. If you're in pain, you're always acidic. True or false? Yung mukha nyo, dato, puti. Nakaganun. Now, 99% of all the medicines in the pharmacy are all acids. Why? Because we want to maintain your acidity. We will relieve your pain for a little while, four hours, six hours, even one day. But, ano mangyari sa chan? Umahapdi. But the more you take it, because you're old, kasi arthritis, ano mangyari? Sira ang kidney. Even when you apply all those crazy things, methyl salicylate, very toxic, shut down your kidney. That's why in Manila, major thoroughfares, they have big signage, dialysis center. Eh, kating ko lang yun. Omega lang yun. Efficacent lang yun. Methyl salicylates. It is absorbed through your skin and chronic use will shut down your kidney. Many toxic things. How many take Celebrex for their headache? Celebrex? Celebrex will give you four times heart attacks. That's nice. You have no more pain.
So, I always want to summarize it, but if you summarize it, you notice something strange. Actually, they're all the same. They're all the same. They support each other. Each of them support each other. When you talk about sunrise, you talk about the other two products, you will notice that they support immune system. Diba? They increase energy, cognitive function, and the rest. But they complement each other. That is why I always tell the patient, keep on taking it. Keep on taking it as it is being prescribed. But the nice thing is, some of the patients take more. Especially yung sunrise na yan. Masakit ang ulo ko dyan sa sunrise. Kasi ang dami yung ipinitake nila, sa sarap daw. Yung mga Chinese patients, one, one box they finish in one week. Kasi, ma'am, bakit? Kasi masarap. They bring it to them in their bag. Sabi na, yan ang nagpabigat ng bag ko ngayon doon. Okay. So when you talk about the triangle of health, I always talk like this. It repairs, it restores, it maintains, it boosts, and more important, it optimizes. Kasi yung pasyente pagdating, maraming diferensya yun. If you give good nutrition, it will repair then it will make you normal, it will restore you, and it will maintain you, it will boost you, but more important, it optimizes your health. So, you have to be a user again before you become a pusher. And you can live up to 100 years old. And then, you can do trapeze. <laughs> Kaya ni, di ba? Mm. So, paupo-upo pa kayo dyan? If you want to make your dreams come true, the first thing you really want to do is wake up. Some of you are still in slumber mode. Ayaw pa mag full-time. Hindi ka tulad ni Cookie Monster. Parang banat ang banat. Mm. Mm. So I would like to entertain a few questions, especially on product, because I would rather answer the individual concerns. Yes, sir. It is really better if we have an interaction from the audience on the medical concerns. The microphone. Uh, for past history for uh, pneumothorax, mm. uh, such as uh, I had too much air trapped in the lung. Uh, tension pneumothorax. Yes. Spontaneous pneumothorax. Correct. And okay. uh, of course, obviously, the surgery, the minor surgery that was done, performed, was successful. Mm. But two years later, I still suffer from cough. So, how much dosage do you think I should take from sunset, sunrise, and the, uh, the drops? I would recommend that you double the dose. Just double it. Okay, so how many times would I take the fish oil uh, capsule? Just double the dose. Double the dose. Mm. On everything. Uh, I would like you to spread it three, three, uh, three with uh, lunch and three with uh, supper. Okay. And even though I work call center hours at night time, it's okay. It's still it's okay. Single. It has, there's no problem. Remember, uh, the doctor told you that you had a congenital anomaly. You are not very normal, you understand? Maybe your mom and dad made you standing or whatever it is looking. <laughs> to have that bleb, to have that bleb, to have that bleb there. And it spontaneously ruptures whether you are coughing or exercising. Then it is catastrophic. When that ruptures, you know, it's catastrophic. All of a sudden it's so hard to breathe as if it's... Uh, your turn already. <laughs> but it's so easy to treat. You just, you just put a tube, then you 
put little vacuum to spread the lung, to open the lung. Mm. Some of us, we put talcum powder inside. Talcum powder will make it stick. But talcum powder now is carcinogenic pala. Ay, turo nila noon, talcum powder ay carcinogenic pala. Ay, anyway, it's good that they just uh, did uh, um, yeah, the tube. They just put the tube. How, how long did they put the tube? Well, the surgery was performed just uh, one night, mm. which was, I think, less than an hour. Uh -huh. I was sedated, and then next thing you know, when I woke up, I had a the tube. tube. For how many days? Seven days. Oh, big one. <laughs> well, uh, big one. I think it was a highly credible doctor. who was, mm. He was a credible surgeon, so thank God it was somebody who was pretty good. So, Well, tension pneumothorax or spontaneous pneumothorax now is nothing. It's nothing. Uh, no. Before, but by the way, when you have it, it's the end of the world, <laughs> right? What, how did you feel when you had the tension pneumothorax? I had no idea because I've never felt it before. I'm like, I'm too young to experience this. Mm. And then when the doctor told me, I had no idea until he did a, uh, the, the uh, x-ray. X-ray. Mm. Yeah, he saw the x-ray. That's when he discovered there was too much air trapped in the lung cavity. Mm. So he said, you can't go home. And I was shocked. So I had no choice but to perform surgery yeah. or... Uh, now we look at it as a minor thing what before. Actually, I was in Desert Storm. I was in Desert Storm. Wow. And in our pocket, we always had a Heimlich valve for tension pneumothorax or bleeding. So every time they come, we just put, <laughs> put the valve. So easy. Right. Uh, so easy. And they just, they just put a tube there, only this deep. You don't have to put it very deep. Yeah. But uh, it will save your life or it improves your quality of life because it's very difficult to breathe with the tension pneumothorax. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very difficult. Only one lung is functioning. And the tension pushes the lung to the other side and you can hardly breathe. But if you had one... During the x-ray, how many blebs were there? Was there a residual one? You just said there was just one, uh, one, uh, one lung that had then there. It's finished. Yeah. Some people are lucky. They have three, four. Yeah. They can expect next, uh, next week, perhaps. Yeah, or a year later, when they took the x-ray, it was normal. Oh. So then I, I think coughing could be a result of uh, respiratory infection. This is television. And... At the same time, we are in a very nice place. Right. This room is designed to make them sleepy. <laughs> because the air conditioning system does not bring fresh air inside. The oxygen tension when you entered was quite high. Right. But because all of these guys are breathing, using oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide tension now is very high. That is why they're suffering from hypoxia and they're sleepy. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're saying free radicals pretty much have a lot to do with it. Yeah, that, that generates more free radicals. But you know, the level of pollution in Manila is nice because of 21% oxygen in the atmosphere. Right. Here in Manila, I don't know, it must be 17, but 17 is not compatible with life. Must be less. Wow. So if you want to have more, better quality air, I just came from Anbaya. Anbaya Cove, nice. <laughs> oh, everything is green. You see crows, you see all the birds, the orioles and everything. Right. But uh, Manila is not a good place for you. Yeah, so I've been told. But point. it's okay, I have Keanu. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so do your Kayani. I strongly suggest you just double the dose. Double the it's dose. safe. Okay. It's very safe. Perfect. And it's very good you brought that up because uh, a lot of people here don't know what a tension pneumothorax is or a spontaneous rupture. I didn't know until it was told to me. Well, thank you, doctor. Thank okay. You so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doctor, yes. good afternoon. Uh, uh, what would be the best uh, dosage for somebody who has a fatty liver? Ah, fatty liver. We have many cases of fatty liver. 
by the way, maganda yun sir, you brought it up, no? By the way, when you are diabetic, more often than not, you already have fatty liver. Naintindihan nyo? Uh, how many are diabetic? Okay. <clears throat> now let's talk about you because this is related to also to the question. <clears throat> Remember, you already have fatty liver. And the doctor has given you medicines. And some of the medicine is statin. Diba? Simba statin. Okay? Statin is designed to destroy liver. Number one side effect is to destroy your liver. That's why you always, every three months, you do liver profile. Okay? Now, if you have a headache, what is the best medicine for your headache? Hmm? Biogesic. Huh? Biogesic is paracetamol. The number one cause of liver failure in America is paracetamol. Okay? So you think you have a headache, you're diabetic, you're taking paracetamol, but there's a problem. You are Filipino. Then you're going to ask me, Why, doctor? Because Filipinos have sick minds. Diba, Cookie? If ang Filipino matulog basa ang buhok, ano mangyari? You, you see the response, sir? Ang daming nangyayari. Ano yun? Nakakalbo. Nababaliw. Nabubulag. Kung Pilipino, ba't kung Amerikano matulog basa ang buhok? Nababasa ang unan. Okay. Nagpaplansya ka. Paplansya. Pawis na pawis. Eh, nag-thunderstorm. Katulad noong the other day, thunderstorm. Siyempre, yung nakahang mong clothes, you have to rush and get it. Eh, natamaan ka ng limang patak ng ulan. Anong mangyayari sa'yo? Pasma! Eh, wala sa libro ng siyensya ng medisina ang pasma. That's why yung mga Filipino athletes doing triathlon, ha, takbo-takbo, pawis na pawis sila pagdating doon sa ice to water. Tatalon sila, di ba? Pag jump nila in mid-air, wala ka ng problema. Pasmado na yun. Kasi alam nila, when they hit the water, pasma. Ang Pilipino natulog. Gumising, alas dosi ng gabi. Narinig niya yung, oh, 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 oh. Anong nang sa utak ng Pilipino? May sakit. So let's go back to it. <laughs> Is it okay, sir, if you ask me more specifically now yung relation sa question nyo? Why did you ask the question? Uh, actually, uh, it was, uh, it's not, uh, it's not concerned me, but it concerns my daughter, who is, uh, I can't remember for about two weeks now. Uh -huh. With Kayani, Kayani is very safe for fatty liver, by the way. Can take all of the three and it's safe for fatty liver. I've been using uh, that for since two years ago. Two years ago for fatty liver. Because yeah, before, I was experimenting on something else. I was experimenting on third leg function. Mm -hmm. So the best, sir, is, <clears throat> the best is to take it the same dose. Just the same dose. Or if she can afford, you can increase the sunrise. The sunrise side. To my experience, that would be better. But stay away from what I said earlier. Yung paracetamol, yung simvastatin. You stay away from that. And all the medicines for pain. Mm. Yes. May question for yourself? Hmm. Hypertension, sir. Anong? Because you mentioned already the, the thing that all men would like to hear from you. 
I'm 69 years old. And, My favorite uh, position. <laughs> I started uh, taking the Takayani. Instead of pushing it, I used it. Yeah, you have to be a user. The three, the three, uh, the three twenty-six thousand five hundred. I consumed it all. And lo and behold, within the seventh month that I've been using that, my grandfather relieved. Yeah. So meaning, if you have a special dosage for that, then my seven months is my own experience. Mm. But if you can teach other men how to how it should be how it should be <laughs> administered, <laughs> cooking, <laughs> to cup first cup. <laughs> You know, there is uh, privileged information. Those uh, who, who have, I'll, I'll give you a nice uh, occasion. You know, when you go to the airport and you give your ticket to the, ano bang tawag no? Yung nasa counter? Tatanungin ka kaagad, di ba? Oh, do you have any medical conditions? You, oh, open your sunglass, di ba? So I always joke. I always tell, Miss, I suffer from a severe form of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> And then you know what she will say? Doc, sekreto yan. <laughs> diba, tinanong na nga niya ako, sinagot ko na nga siya, Sir, sekreto yan. <laughs> uh, those who are, I have been actually toying around, playing around with extreme. Because most of my patients are already extreme. You know, the 40 and above. And, uh, CoQ10 is needed for better function of the heart because it is an exercise. You know, when you're sweating like hell and you're performing, and plus the ashwagandha effect, you, you do all this crazy uh, positioning. Kailangan talaga protected puso mo. That's why extreme ang gagamitin mo palagi. You better double your extreme dose. Just to be sure. Kaunti lang yun. Isang pindot, ganyan lang, one third. Akala ko isang dropper, dropper talaga. Dropper full. Hindi pala, dropper. <laughs> <laughs> so, take more, sir. If you want, uh, if there's an activity, especially at our age, because I'm 67, uh, but the problem is I have been stem cell. You know, when you're stem cell, there are many uh, things that happen. Sex to me before was 20 to 30 minutes. Now, now it's already about nearly three hours. <laughs> so, wag kayong magpa stem cell, sir. Wag kayong magpa stem cell. Extreme lang. Use the extreme. <laughs> I have tried using the... I have tried using Nitro FX. On my patients especially. I have one patient now, I am doing PRP injection on the third leg. Oh. <laughs> and uh, he is happy, but he's more happy with the uh, ashwagandha, the sunrise, and of course, extreme. Mm. Doctor, I just have one to ask you. Uh, if the company has a really standard right regimen for first as maintenance for normal people without any disease. Second, for those people with common illnesses. And third, for those immunocompromised or cancer patients. Oh, that's a very good question. No, she's a oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. So we're drug pushers also. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine how we practice without drugs. Um, the funny thing is, Nearly 30 years ago, 30 years ago, I don't need any medicine for pain on my patients because I can instantly remove pain in seconds, di ba? Neck and shoulder pain, mahirap gamutin yon, Mahirap gamutin. Neck and shoulder pain, tatanong ka, anong dose ng kayani? Neck and shoulder pain, regular dose. 
Punta ka lang kay Dr. Mangkaw mo na. Bugbugin ka, di ba? Nang bubugbug tayo ng pasyente, we brutalize them, sitting, then lying down, the more. And what do they do? They shout, Aray! Ang sarap! <laughs> and then, <laughs> what did the wife of, what, attorney say? Ay, Doc, maluwag na. <laughs> so, the dose for normal people, even for children, me, I'm using the standard dose. Remember, it's food. Remember, kayani is food. And uh, for my sick patient, especially immunocompromised, I give them sometimes four times the dose. Kasi, I, I treat a lot of cancer patients kasi. Mm. Then, you need more antioxidants. You need more antioxidants. And nandun na, di ba? Sabi nila, one of the best for cancer now is mangosteen. Di ba? Nandun. Nandun. Eh, cranberry, nandun. Lahat na mga berry, nandun. Eh, ano pang hinahanap natin? You just double the dose. <laughs> so as a doctor, depending on the pain capacity of the patient, prescribe. But for cancer, uh, I always give a higher dose. Sometimes four times. But me, that is <laughs> I don't have cancer yet. That's why I take three capsules of sunset three times a day. Three times a day. Sometimes I even double it. Kasi kapag papasok ng pasyente ko na ekang ekang, ano problema mo? Doc, cancer, saan? And then when they start crying in front, you, you empathize also with your patient. You sympathize. Nag negative transfers. In my clinic kasi, doctora, I do energy transfers. Alam nila yan eh. My plant there dies. A cancer. Ah yes, you can give. Sa neonates. How old naman? Ang six months? You can give. You can just, uh, you just adjust your dose. Uh, it's food. It's food. Even uh, the sunset, it's food. So it's up for you how to uh, to balance or give your your dosing. You're even in asthmatic, okay then. Childhood asthmatic, doctora. One treatment lang sa akin. Asthmatic na controlled naman sir. With medication. With medication. Now, uh, what I'm trying to make you understand is, once I manipulate an asthmatic. Childhood asthmatic, wala nang asthmatic attacks. Okay. So, Do, you so the, maybe you, you can refer. To the no more. Uh, if they are, if they have been treated by me, they don't take anything after. Just kyani. Maybe they can take kyani if they like to, but one manipulation, generally as a rule, more than ninety-nine percent. Wow. So there's something strange, kasi doctor. Eh. I'll demo it one case. So you know what I'm talking about. Okay? Sit down. Who has the most severe pain today? Pain in the pocket? Ano sa iyo, ma'am? Ayan, mahirap kasi kailangan humiga. My grain, your grain. Sige na, dito na. Isa, your grain. Those with pain should be kayani addicts. You understand? If you're always in pain, you better be a kayani addict. Because... Chronic pain is always on top of inflammation. And when you are on inflammation, like your grain headaches, palagi lang, sige sit down, you will notice na may factory defects si ma'am. Are you married, ma'am? Uh, your husband has now the right to return you to the mom because of a... Tingnan yung mabuti galing dyan, ha? So, this one is normal. But this one is stuck up. Migraine, ha? Migraine. Hindi ko tinuturo in medical school. Stuck up. And this one is far. It's four inches. But this one is normal. Dikit. Ulitin ko ha. Malayo. Malayo ito. And 
normal dito. Ito naman, normal dito, ang normal is 180 degrees. But this one is stuck up. Umuumul na. So, kanina, kung itaas yung arms, uh, tapingi, eh, di ba? Eh, ito. Maluwag na, ma'am, no? So, akala ko mga kayani users to. Dahil nga dispalingado. Hmm. Anong problema niyo, sir? Uh, two weeks na. Oh, two weeks. Normal naman akong uh, regular akong umiinom ng uh, kayani. Nag-take yun, yung triangle. Wala ba kayang isang kayani product lang? Ganunin lang natin muna. Ha? <laughs> Remember, that's how noisy they are when they do sex. Suntok niya, sir. Ito, pag isinusuntok ko ito, hindi ma-diretso. Ngayon, diretso. For maintenance, apply po ng Kayani. Nandyan pa yung ulo mo. Dito ka. Lipat na lang dito, ho. Oo, gano'ng katagal na? More than, ano po, mga five years ago. Uh, yung parang ano, parang na mahihilong hindi mo malaman ano, parang bigla kang ma-blackout, gano'n. So, gumagamit na ako ng Kiyanik, but uh, not several times. Gumagamit na ako. So, the best product would be extreme because it will improve circulation. But you have the good nutrition for the brain. Not only the brain, but for the whole body. So, take everything. Now, let us see what I can do. Ano nga ulit yung problema mo? Sakit? Tanggalin yun? Lungs problem. I medicate na for more than six months. Kasi namayat ako. Talahat. Then, ang kulay ko parang talong na. But I take uh, consistent. Gumaling po ako sa Kiyana. Ito na po ngayon. Yung kulay talong, yun ang mga pasyenteng nag-dialysis. Di ba? Kulay talong. And then paliit ng paliit sila. But uh, let us see what I can do for pain. I will be removing a headache. I will transfer it to the back. Okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, last na po tayo sa 4, ha? Kasi hindi po ito kapwa ko, mahal ko. So, nasa kaya ni LST pa rin po tayo. So, later na lang po yung iba. Uh, kung naririnig niyo po, dito po parang Armalite tumutunog po. You know, Kayani is very good for uh, post-pulmonary infections. It's very, very good, especially uh, sunrise. And uh, that's what I'm using. Remember the first one who asked question? Diba, I said yung mahaba ang antenna. Marami din dyan, mahaba pa rin ang antenna. <laughs> <laughs>
Those who uh, are more interested in taking your product, you better take it seriously. Some of you, they just take alternate day, sometimes once a week. Take it uh, more so you don't end up like this. <laughs> Conventional market. <laughs> Meaning to say, it's a food supplement for neuropathy and it's the best it's the best now since it's diabetic let's see if we can do magic because it's a prolonged degenerative problem bugbugin ko muna to ma'am ito migraine lang to eh so migraine tabingi talaga yun tabingi but it's nice to be tabingi you know, scoliotic remember when you're type A personality type A you have three problems sometimes you can have migraines you're scoliotic and you're bronchial asthmatic type A personality yung obsessive compulsive yung bagay na hindi problema ginagawang problema kapag gumagano yung ulo nyo ngayon type A kayo okay <laughs> So pain management is very simple. Remember, <clears throat> this kind of pain, when it's gone, you cannot remember it. But the pain that you feel when you quarrel your boyfriend or husband, even 50 years, the pain is still there. <laughs> Tita, pakiklaro lang po sa kanila, ano po yung lumuwag? Yung ba yung masakit, masakit talaga. Sobrang masakit. Kayo naman, yung joints na po yung lumuwag, ano na yung iniisip niyo? one food supplement that I will mention because it's good for you and the other diabetics before they have uh, diabetic neuropathy. Ang problema sa neuropathy, minsan, kapag nasagasaan na ng kotse, hindi nyo pa ma-feel yung paa nyo na because it's numb. It's alpha lipoic acid. 300 milligrams two times a day. In alpha lipoic acid. In a, one month, Nag-improve na yun. Ma-feel mo na. And in six months, there's a side effect. You look young. But you have to take Kayani. Lots of Kayani with it. Kasi Kayani is good also for circulation. Now, in diabetes, this is the most important. This is my closing.
This is my closing. Diabetes is a microangiopathy. Yung lahat ng mga maliit na blood vessel ay nawala na. That's why yung eyes nila malabo. Malabo ang tingin. Wala naman tinatanong. And then, numbness, ma'am, no? Even your heart, may counting problema naman, wala pa. Wala pa naman po. Kidney? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Multi-organ problem. You don't die of diabetes. You die on which organ <laughs> shut down. Naintindihan nyo? So it's a microangiopathy. Hindi ba you hold already the secret to diabetes? Your users already. It's just nitric oxide. Nitric oxide will dilate all those blood vessels, make it patent and functional. So the more you take, the better. Now there's a question always when they take uh, sunrise. Kasi matamis yung sunrise eh. Yung sugar talaga tumataas ng kaunti. But remember, the one that gives glycation or destroys your body is artificial sugars and white sugar. Anything with white sugar is not good for you. But kami mga doctors who are happy if you take white sugar. Oh, you understand? The more white sugar, white flour, the happier we are. But if you want to be happy, stop taking white sugar, white flour, and take your kayani. Yung sweetener mo, kayani na lang. Now, alpha lipoic acid, ma'am, remember that. If you have somebody along with you, just write it down in your, in your cell phone. It's 300 milligrams, but if you can get 1,200 milligrams, mas mabilis, mag-improve. Side effect is you look young. It is stronger than glutathione. You notice that she was walking very slow earlier. Now let's see if a miracle can happen. The pain you feel is the pain I take away. You always relax, mama. Uh, this patient has been suffering for some time. That is why we have to do something about it. And we doctors, we don't do this. Because it is anti-business. We tira you for a fee. You understand? Ang normal nito, ang tuhod, ay nasa nipple. That is normal. So that is more than one foot ang difference. This one is better. This is one inch to normal. So, ma'am, tanggalin muna natin yung... Yung pain ho, it is a puno ng mga hita ko. Sa hip, hip joint, osteoarthritis of the hip. Uh, anong gusto nyo? Maglakad na walang crutches? <laughs> ah, okay.
Ma'am, masyado masakit. Dagdagan pa natin, pwede. <laughs> Kanina, dito lang yung knee. Ngayon, yung knee is already here. It's normal. Okay. Siguro, gawin mo yung isa. <laughs> Sabay ba para... Diabetic. Uh, she has a problem of balance. Huwag ka muna umupo, ma'am. Tumalon ka muna. I ikaw ang nagsabi. Talon. Sabay tayo. Kaunti. Sige na. Pak. Pak. Okay na. Sabi niya, hindi daw siya makatalon. Okay. Now, I will teach you something which you can also do. When you are 40 and above, you should do this. Kasama ka rin, Mama. One more chance. Gayain mo lang ako, Mama. Hawak dito. One second. Ganito, ha? Mahirap ba? Ang sikreto, ma'am, ang pag-upo. 10 seconds. Okay? Sabay tayo ngayon. Sige, tayo ka na. Boom! You have to... You have to exercise all your major joints. Kasi yung matanda at diabetic. <laughs> Pag out balance... She will fall nose first. Kung ako ang gagawa ng nose job, nangyari na yan sa iyo, di ba? <laughs> Kung akong gagawa, 200,000 bucks. That's nice. Huh? <laughs> That's why we teach them this, so I don't earn 200,000 bucks. <laughs> Sige, ganito ma. Pag upo, sabay tayo ngayon. Ready? 1,000, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,000... Oh! 9, 1,010. O, ano naramdaman mo? Because you are building your quads and you're building your iliopsoas muscle. That's why you can stand faster and walk faster. Okay? Okay. Walking, ma'am, is like this. Swing your arm. Gawin mo lang yan, ma'am. Every day. Every time you stand. I think I have... Oh. Okay ka na? I'll follow boy kasi. Eh, ito. Mas malala ito. Kanino natin ilipat yan? Sa pinakamagandang babae dito? Ha? Huh? Sige, ma'am. Tingnan natin yung... Ma'am, wag, wag niyong hawakan, ma'am. Wag niyong hawakan. Ma mawala yung level of self-confidence niya if you the strongest form of you have to drink this mm. <laughs> 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 
good to the last drop. <coughs> Thank you. No. 71 po. 71. That will be me four years from now. My God, I cannot imagine it. Doing sex for three hours and then walking with a cane. Oh my goodness. Now, how many years now problem, Mama? Almost one year. I look for one. So, 2013 nang magkaganito na po. So, 2013, hindi ka na makaupo ng mabuti? So, mga three years na? Hmm. So, uh, bugbugin ka namin. Okay lang? Huh? Masarap na. Masaroy. Uh, subukan ko lang, ma'am. Oh, ilan pang ganito na kaso dito? <laughs> Yan ba resulta ng Kayani? O ipa-improve natin sa Kayani? Mm. So, nakalock yung hip. Sunset ang maganda sa inyo, ma'am. Gumaya ka na lang kay Dr. Mangkaw. Isang bote, 10 days. Okay? Two cup, uh, three capsules, two times a day. Okay? paper kanina. <laughs> si mom is not only suffering from hip pain. She is suffering from fibromyalgia. Alam nyo kung ano yun? Pain everywhere syndrome. Lahat ng sulok ng katawan ay makirot. Sa Amerika, wala kang pag-asa. They will give you anti-convulsants, anti-depressant uh, medicines for pain. Bangag ka. And you die because of the side effects of the drugs. Walang pag-asa. It's a diagnosis similar to cancer. Okay, ma'am? Pwede ka nang bugbugin sa baba? Subukan lang natin. Okay? Yes, it's no more. Ha? Kuhan nyo. Buhatin nyo. Buhatin nyo. Ito, makirot din. Okay. Eh, mas mataas yun. Hmm. Okay? Eh, sige mo, gano'n lang. Kanina eh, hindi mo mataas. Tingnan sa bibig. Tinga sa bibig. Tinga sa bibig. Maganda na ito. <laughs> Baba niyo. Ulit. Sabi ko. Bakit niyo man. Sige pa man. 
Mas maganda yung kaliwa nyo kaysa kanan, ma'am, no? O, oh, pareho. Hmm. Hmm. Sige, ikaw magbaluktot na yun. Sige, taas pa. May x-ray kayo? Kailan yun? Uh, from what I have uh, examined, uh, normally, ganito mga four or five treatments. Kasi na-move na niya eh. Kanina, she could not. It was plastered. But now she's moving it. Ang sa akin naman is she's 71 years old. I don't want to be too aggressive with her. And this is a public place. Kapag sisigaw siya, <laughs> magsitakbuhan kayo dyan lahat. But in the next three days, lalo pang mag-relax yung hip. So, galawin nyo ng galawin, ma'am, ha? Okay. May kasama ba kayo? Pagpunta nyo dito. Sin uh, saan yung anak nyo? Uh, Ruby, I'm back from Singapore kasi. Next week. Not this week, but next, next week. Okay? But uh, mal malaki ang chance na ma-bend niya yung... Yung hip, more than 45 degrees. 